how much discomfort do you have when you are right here in the verge of a cliff overlooking the birds over there and you know all this awesome place you know discomforts sometimes is necessary for it to have an amazing place like this right so i'm here with my good friend rafael del nero that is known as the java challenger guy right so you, you you work everything about about challenges right rafael oh yes we have to be challenging ourselves all the time and being uncomfortable i think that's crucial i know it's difficult to be uncomfortable but it's also extremely important because we know we are humans and we crave to be in our comfort zone, ours protected, but that's the bad, the bad way for your career. You need to always put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Yeah, so, you know, uh, that's a reality. And, and I think that many times we do look for discomfort, right? So, you know, we've been walking around uh, this cliff here and there's lots of people coming here and, you know, it's kind of discomfort when you have to walk on the sun and going up the hills and, you know, and, and I think people look for discomfort because uh, there's, there's, a, there's a, not only the challenge, but there is a reward, right? Amazing, amazing places, but there's also uh, the, you know, the feeling of, uh, you know, of conquering something, right? Conquering. Yes. Well, when you do hiking and you go to the top, you feel that, you, okay, you conquered something. And that's the thing you have to keep in mind. When you are in a comfortable cycle, which I know it's very difficult to get out of it because I've been there, I've been in my comfort zone and I didn't want to go out of that because uh, it's difficult. But you have, at some time in life have to choose if it's worth it to feel the pain of being there in your comfort zone because when you are in your comfort zone, you are stuck. You can't, you can't move forward. So it's important for you to always force yourself so I forced myself to go out of my comfort zone and what I did, I went to conferences, I met Bruno, I met other amazing speakers and uh, Bruno showed me the way to challenge myself and to be uncomfortable and giving talks for example, that's, that's a good thing for all developers, so share your knowledge, that's extremely uncomfortable because you are in front of everyone and you are talking in front of everyone that's hard, that's hard. Of course, you don't need to go to that level if it's too uncomfortable for you, but doing little things, small things, that also helps a lot. And I think, I think that's interesting, right? Because while we're climbing here, there is, you know, there, uh, uh, people came out and put like a, a cement walkway, right? So you can't you can do uh, limit discomfort, right? You don't need to be all the way out of your comfort zone, right? You can just be, a little off your comfort zone. I mean, we could have been here very early in the morning, kind of climbing the stones, right? Or even going down uh, this cliff right there because there are, we've seen people going down the way down. So you can be extremely uncomfortable if you want to, or you can just push your comfort zone a little bit more and then do a you know, do step by step by step. And then eventually you are actually gonna conquer the big cliff, right? Because you, you, you're kind of pushing yourself beyond the comfort zone. Exactly, and when you know what actions you can take to go a little bit out of your comfort zone, do it. Even though you feel the fear, even though you feel that uh, it's going to be difficult, even, even though you feel that you're not prepared for that. Because I was like that, I didn't feel prepared to do a talk or to do anything else. I had to build up my courage and do it anyway, even without... Uh, the, the confidence even without anything so I just had to face myself and just do it and you know I didn't start giving talks to big conferences all of the sudden I started small I started giving talks uh, on YouTube to my friends and then I started expanding that so as I did you can do the same you can uh, expand yourself little by little it's like small steps because if you put your for yourself a big challenge you'll be overwhelmed. So yes. it's important for you to put small challenges and then you build it up bit by bit. And that will make a big difference because once you conquer this small step, then you say, okay, that's comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna push myself a little bit more. Okay, this is small step. Okay, that's comfortable now. Next step, 
okay, that's comfortable. Let's go. And then you move forward. The problem is that if you are in your comfort zone and you don't break the cycle, you have to break the cycle. That's extremely important. That's it, guys. So, you know, uh, work uh, beyond your comfort zone. Push your comfort zone uh, forward, right? So you can actually, you don't need to work outside the comfort zone, but you can push your comfort zone uh, a little bit more. So follow Rafael Donato. Uh, at, you know, I'm going to put the links on the, on the, on the, on the comments below, right? So Rafael Donato on Twitter and oh, go improve your challenge. There is a message. There will be a live on Saturday and I'm going to talk about how can, you can improve your career, how you can get better. I'm going to leave the link below. So you click there you get registered and then we can talk about your career. Okay, that's it guys. So uh, this is Bruno Souza from Code for Life and I'm here touring Europe to talk with amazing developers like Rafael to help you grow your career. See ya. Thank you, bye bye.